This could be a solution to one of the Bay Area service industry's biggest problems, how to attract and keep workers in one of the most expensive places to live in the country. Our Len Ramirez takes us inside a slice of New York in San Jose where everyone gets a piece of the pie. There is something very different about this pizza place. And it goes beyond their award winning pies. It's about the people. In fact, everyone in this kitchen owns an equal slice of the business. We're a worker co op, which means all the members and owners of the business work in the business. Kirk Vartan started the business 17 years ago. Six years ago, he turned it into a co op by selling the business to his staff as a leverage buyout. The people here, uh, the owners, they're directly incentivized by how the business grows. The employee owners are now paying back a business loan with the profits of the company, and they all run the shop as a board of directors. We create our first PTO policy, a vacation <laughs> policy. We created a 401k plan for our team. Uh, we have a family uh, leave plan. It's not just a job, it's, like, it's our baby. We all run it. This was Colin Webster's first job when he turned 18 10 years ago. He now chairs the board. There's a stigma against people that uh, work in the service industry. Like when I tell, when I tell people, that I'm like, no, I own a business, and I make more money than some of my friends who went to college. It's not a new business model, but it is getting a lot more attention after the pandemic wiped out many small businesses. A bill to create a co-op hub and help center in the governor's office passed unanimously and became law in California this year. It creates stability in your community. The businesses are owned and operated by the people living in there. Kirk says co-ops can also be a good option for the tens of thousands of business owners who want to retire. Takes care of the business owner, pays them, takes care of the employees, gives them a, a wealth building opportunity, and takes care of the community because the community gets to keep their gem of business, whatever that is. One customer called it a better experience. This model works. It works from a customer service level um, in terms of uh, employee retention. One, two, three. But it wouldn't work for anyone unless the end product is good. The proof is in the pizza. And these long lines at dinner time means consumers and the workers are both getting what they want. There are still just a small number of worker owned co ops in the South Bay. So far, a slice of New York pizza is the only one that is also a brick and mortar business.